feeling the heavy dewy lad this morning. Because it's, it's brisk. And we all can see what's wrong with this picture. Vans. Made for Gregory. Sure you know Not bad with my left hand. Here's my ride. Hi Greg. How are you big brother? Good. Save me again. Where are you going with the grandpa? All my essentials are in it. You think you're going for a week? Well I have my book for work, I have my flask, I have my hat, I have my drink. What's in this? My work boots. PPE, very important. We'll play the waiting game, we'll just let the two machines heat up and we'll tip away for the day. Try and do our bit for the country, keep it going as much as we can. Now, right? Hmm. Did you bring hand sanitizer? Yeah. Yeah. And we're even practicing social distancing between me and Greg. Look, like normally I'd be all up in his grill. You would be sitting right there. I'd be sitting right there all up in his grill. Are. Yeah, I would. I would. I'll tell you, as far as dicks go now, that's the finest one you'll see this side of the Mississippi, isn't it? Oh, it'll give us your little pubes! <laughs> beautiful morning. A beautiful morning. Almost make you forget about the woes of the world, wouldn't it? She's as the drama we're after having this morning. Greg was cutting that dirty shy over there and a big stick went in there and you think we could get it over it? And Greg has massive fucking what arms. What was that then? But it came in there, look. And went all around the bottom and came out down here and wrapped around this roller. Yeah, so what we're saying is it was a bastard, right? Yeah. And we tied this over it and pulled it out. And then we lift, the head lifted off the ground. Look at this, look at this. Well, if anyone wants to know the best knot, constrictor knots, they are the job. I mean, no, there is nothing like them, is there? Oh, well, we just hang for that. Me, of course. Me, you, Greg. YouTube. <laughs> and YouTube. <laughs> That's the way I look after that man. If it wasn't for me, and he wouldn't be there fighting with that tree. That big, dirty, rotten tree. I bet you Greg. Oh, Greg would do it. Greg would do it. There's the lads work done for the day. They came out and they shut off the power lines. Now we have to try and get that cut today. While they were in there, I should have went out and robbed the starter off one of the vans. But sure, I'd only be robbing myself. Stay buddy and all that. You don't know yourself. There's not enough fingering going in. Get a big coronavirus head on him. Okay. It's like a disease. What are you like? Fuck off. Aaron said that I'm not none of your skivvy, a foot soldier. <laughs> the two boys. Oh, no, I don't know We're here in the wood and we're trying to socially distance ourselves from all the loot people. And. <laughs> 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 so we've our lunch, eh? And uh, I came here to eat lunch and fuck bitches and I'm all over lunch. 96 mer. <laughs> what? 96? And it still looks a beast. It's the fucking job, 96 mer. This is like work hours roulette. I came with Greg, so I'm going home with Greg. How many hours will Greg do today? I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking forward to finding out. It's a win-win situation for me. If he goes home early, I get to go home early. If he stays late, I make loads of this. Simple. There's that block all finished now. Nice and tidy. There's our new goal posts. Nice and ridiculously low. So I can't bring out a big load. Drop the crane right down. You know, 
know this driving home with Gregory reminds me of the good old days when we used to be driving up and down from Galway, Kerry Kerry, all those fantastic places. Remember the crack we used to have? Oh, the crack. Had a crack. Uh, we we drive up and we drive down. We, we love pulling up in the shop every evening. Slow down, you fucking bastard! He's not breaking Is he not? Sorry, I forgot we were going slow. I forgot we were going slow. There's no hurry. And you do it, do it! Oh. Everyone's in a hurry home. Hey, they! What the fuck? Oh, no, that's a fucking bus. See, I like lorry spot when I'm in the passenger side and I'm not seeing any today, which is fucking oh, sick. Um, I think so, I never heard anything, so I'll take it for granted the jar. Do you still love the Volkswagen? Yeah, I like my Volkswagen. I don't love Volkswagen. But hey, look, Greg, can't panic about these things, things break down. You would be better leaving that in Tom Bell, so. Forever? Oh, well, it's there most of the time anyway, so. Well, look, I'm stuck with it now until my cyber truck comes in. That's just the way it's gonna be. You'll be jealous then. Shit. You fucking will. You're oh, right. can I have a no. go? I don't, don't care. care. It's gonna be cool. Terrible. Have I been wrong yet? Have I been wrong yet? <laughs> there's, there's the boys in the toll bridge now taking everyone's money. Isn't it well for him? Isn't it fucking well for him? Huh? That'd be a cool job. Sure, I'm sure there's heaters there. Stick there with the window open. Oh, yeah. man, I wouldn't be great with that. Who's ringing me? Oh, this part of the road. Jesus Christ. See that lay by there? Yeah. There was many a man blew a load in there. <laughs> 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 Not me. Not me, but I was often told that that'd be the place lads come in. I keep the car in there a bit. And they'd go, they'd go. I lost Horrible me. stuff going on. Robbed in there, didn't we? Yeah, no, we had to move out there because there was uh, questionable people robbing us. That was okay. What did you do? That's a fair car. The one day that I don't have to van she parks properly. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that hard, Chuck? Chuck, just to take off this seatbelt now. Well, I'll go in now and I'll eat my dinner and take all your stuff now. I might, bag that was so I, might have, I might fill the old sock. <laughs> I'm bored today because I was working with you, boy. Yeah. Mammy, Mammy didn't take Look you for a walk. Did you make a house? That's really cool. Will I get into it with you? I have to jump. Jump into it. But I have to clean this up. Right, well, I'll get my dinner first, right? I'll get my dinner first. Yeah. You know the way you sent me up to get the towel with the bunny ears? Yeah. That's a sheep, Vic. Well, it's, it's, it's got ears. That's a sheep. I know. All day long. Still, it has ears, so I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I wonder what Greg's reading. I can't wait to see what he's reading. Time magazine. Oh Greg, you culture vulture, what are you reading? Oh, you buy another? No. Happy Paddy's Day, Greg. This is great to be able to spend look. Roger quite this morning. Roger, coronavirus. Oh, how did that? I'm only missing. I'm it. Oh, double time for Davy! Oh, you want to work? I didn't ask you. Oh, Davy! 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 And if we can't, we'll deal with that too. Won't we? Oh, we Fuck me, dear big arms! Oh, How do you do it? Oh, when's your van ready, Dev? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Great joke. Oh, you got a bit of false wagon. I 
have a social media platform and I'm kind of a big deal. Every Paddy's Day I like to give a big shout out to all the Irish working abroad. But this Paddy's Day is a little bit different because I can categorically tell you lads with this coronavirus, you're missing nothing. There's nothing going on. So wherever you are, especially if you have better weather, because look, let's face it, this, this is as good as it gets here. Grey and sort of cold and damp. But at least there's no storm or torrential rain. Anyway, enjoy yourselves. And have a good one. You're missed. I don't miss all of you, I don't know all of you, but I know a few of you and I do miss you. I kind of miss you. Right now my head's too full up with not having any sex. But I get over it. A good few people after messaging me saying that you shouldn't be working on the Paddy's Day. And that they were asked by their employer to work on Paddy's Day. And it's a holiday and you're supposed to spend time with your family. And they basically told them to fuck off. And I've been asked my opinion. Don't hate me for my opinion. But with the current climate, and people could be made stay at home for the foreseeable future. If you had the option to work today, and you were asked by your employer to work today, and you didn't work today, you're only a cunt. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. You're only a useless cunt. Sorry about that now. Sorry. We are making this place our bitch. There's only one strip left and then it's off to the next place. Wherever that is, that's the question. That is the question. I have to go collect Greg on the road. Sanitizer. That's weird sanitizer. Just sanitize the dime to doom off me. I mean the bits from that shite. Right. I just love that the whole world is freaking out and you're just delighted about this coronavirus outbreak. You don't care. You don't care about pandemics. No, you don't. No, you don't. You great little woman. Great little woman. Now if you just go to sleep. Hose blue on the elbow of the crane. Which is the last one. They're all changed now. Well, I will in a few minutes. There's the pipe. I measured it. Ryan Garrett with the measurements. I'm just going to play the waiting game now. Got my van back as you can see, thank God. Hope everyone's well, hope everyone's not panicking. Chilled out, relaxing. I was listening to Leo Varadkar's address to the nation last night. Wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad. Didn't give too much insight into what people are going to do financially going forward. But I will work it out, we'll work it out. But I'm glad he gave... You know, kudos to the people that the fabric of society is built on. The foundation. Healthcare workers, doctors, guards, nurses. And the transport industry. The lorry drivers. Distribution networks. Getting the respect they deserve. Respect to you all. Keeping the country going. Keeping the world going. The world. You know I'm the type of lad that likes to see the positive in every situation. And as far as global catastrophes go, this is the best one we, we could get. There's a risk factor, but it's a minimum risk factor. We could just as handy be in the middle of a pandemic that's affecting everyone and we could wipe out two thirds of our population. So this is a good wake up call to see what we can do to change, that we can sort out these problems. Because society is always on a knife edge. Like our society only works because everyone works together. And a lot of young people, a lot of people think that society and hierarchies are all wrong, but they're not. It works. Everything. And the reason that it's on a knife edge is because it's all just a social construct. It's all made up. Laws, uh, human rights, economics, money. Everything is just a made up thing that has to work. And it does work. So it's people from different cultures, different languages, all can work together and do business and trust each other. It's, it's, it's funny. It's crazy. Back going now because me and Garrett worked together and got it done. Anyway, what's not crazy is that since this pandemic started, only men and women have been affected and not the other 36 genders. What's also not crazy and rather disappointing is all these many, many different social justice warriors for whatever cause they have, and they can be legitimate causes, are the ones doing the most moaning about not being able to go to Starbucks or not being able to go out and party. That they're bored sitting at home. The chips are down. It's the 
people like me, the people like you, you just have to do whatever has to be done, put your shoulders to the wheel for the greater good. Our world isn't perfect, but it's the best that we can come up with right now. And we're all lucky to have it. Isn't it true to say, I don't know who said it, but when society has no real problems, they make up their own. Well, fuck me. That's your own. That's sort of nice, isn't it? That is Five twenty. Mint. Rig. Go virus. One year dirty cunt. Go on! Move! Fuck off! Doesn't give me shy. Gara is spoiling us today. He brought loads of goodies. Really? For fun size. Did you get them out of an Easter egg? No. Oh, you got them out of a bag. Oh god, it's very hard to. Sweets, to be honest. It's very hard. It's very hard to practice social distancing in a little van like this with the two bodies rubbing shoulders. I'm such a big man. Yeah, sure as well. Well, like you would say, it's as good as KY jelly. Yeah. <laughs> Nor Leo let me down last night. Nor Leo let me down. He didn't just let me down. He let himself down. He let everyone else down. He didn't thank someone very important. Farmers. Didn't thank the farmers. And you don't hear too many crying about the farmers' cattle farting now. No, no, they're all <laughs> fucking quiet now, aren't they? Well, I suppose he's sick of the farmers whinging the whole time. Here's one of Cameras Transport's finest, driving the Diamond of Doom. Sad thing is, we don't even know who the driver is. <laughs> <laughs> who will it be? Who will it be? Is it new blood? Is it new blood, lads? New blood? Sean. No, Sean. Sean. There's a man on a mission now. Is he going for food or is he going for a shite? <laughs> Mining Greg. Greg's, 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 Greg's a bit sad because he was a farmer for so long. He had to give it up. And I think of all the cows you milked. <laughs> well, yeah. We <laughs> were pulling out our tits the whole time. Right? The whole yeah, I don't mind you being a farmer. I don't mind you being a farmer. I know, I, I know it's not easy. Farmers are my favourite. Gary's dream is to be a farmer. Tillage, big tillage. You get some cunt to lay me fucking 500 acres. That's it, if anyone wants to leave us a heap of land, we're glad to take it over. Like and well, we're also going to do our bit for the country right now. Oh, we'll whinge everything. If there's anything, compli <laughs> if there's anything complicated to be drove, we'll fucking well, drive we, it. We won't let them down. As soon as we get it, we'll whinge. I yeah. powder rocks the bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> the guards have a heap of rented cars got and I will offer my services I will drive one of them whatever you want me to do I'll fucking do it I'll do it hi Greg hi Greg I'd leave the whack out this new starter oh sure for fuck's sake sure I should have got one of them ages ago the Illuminati working away to keep us all going. That's the fucking job, bites. So, lads, I'm sitting here watching telly, trying to relax. You know, Vicky's here beside me. She's, I, I won't show you now, but she's, 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 she has the tits out. She's breastfeeding there. Steve! I know, there's only one tit. But uh, she gave out to me for not thanking the paramedics and. Who? Oh, it's people testing the labs. People testing. Yeah. How do you know that when they you're not on social media? I hear things. Yeah. So yeah, them as well. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not perfect. I'm only a man.